Hey everyone, this is Kelly Sanabria, and in today's Fem Gold, we are going to talk about mail unsubscribers. So those people who unsubscribe from your email list. And what I'm going to say today is going to sound like I'm being contradictory, but I'm not. So the first part I w that I want to share is when I first started sending my newsletter regularly, I would have people unsubscribe every time that I send my newsletter. Nobody ever talks about this. Nobody ever wants to say that this happens, but guess what? It happens. It happens to everybody. And I was like, I don't know why it really bothered me that I would get these emails. I would get like a one by one email, like this person just unsubscribed, this person just unsubscribed. And I fought it for a long time. I really wanted to like, I was like, no, like you need to be able to handle this and have a thick skin, whatever. It really annoyed me and I finally broke down and um, made it so that I didn't get those not notifications anymore. So that was one of the best things that I have ever done for my business. While I'd like to think that I could be thick skinned and it wouldn't bother me and I'm such a strong person, it really bothered me because every time that I you know, created this labor of love and people were unsubscribing from my content, it was like, oh man, like that sucks. Like it's just a crappy feeling, you know, they didn't like what I did. Like, I don't know. It just bothered me. So if you have not already unsubscribed and those emails and notifications that people are, if you've not already unsubscribed, if you have not already changed your settings and those unsubscription notifications bother you, please change it so that you do not have to see those. It will make your life better. I promise. The other side of that coin though, is that when I go into my newsletter uh, system to send out newsletters, I can see how many subscribers that I have. And I see that sometimes that number drops before it dips again. Or sometimes from one month to the other, it will actually be a lower number. Nobody says this either, but guess what? It happens. There are dips. I'm not doing any active marketing or list building right now. So yeah, it's going to dip sometimes. That's okay. It's going to be so huge one day. I'm not even worried about it, right? confidence. Um, but the thing is when I see those numbers going down and up and down and up, when I see that I am losing subscribers, like on that end, I actually have a good feeling about it because I feel like I want my list to be what I think of as like as clean as possible. Meaning that people that are on my email list are going to be really receptive to what I'm doing and they're really going to enjoy the content that I put out. There's a couple reasons for this. One is that as your list grows, it gets more and more expensive to manage the list. So if you end up with 100,000 subscribers, you might be in a different price tier than you are if you have 500 subscribers. So you want to make sure that when you're paying to be able to send people emails or you know manage your email list, it needs to be quality people. The second reason is that your conversion rate is going to be higher if you have emails in your list that are people who really, really like what you do. So in that sense, I wouldn't say like encourage people to unsubscribe because that's never good, but when people do unsubscribe, just go, that's cool. They're making room for more people to unsubscribe. So when I, it's just different. It's funny how when I see it on the back end that my list is changing and fluctuating and it's kind of getting cleaned out and purged of people who don't like what I'm doing, it's like, okay, cool. Like, I like that. You know, we're cleaning out the list. We're going to have really good people that really into what I'm doing and like build this awesome, amazing tribe. But then when I would get those one by one notification emails, it was like, awful like oh my gosh I would just want to go and like hide under my desk and cry because they didn't like what I was doing so anyway just a couple of thoughts for you on your email notifications when people unsubscribe and how you um, kind of internalize when people unsubscribe and when your list numbers fluctuate just some thoughts I had for you that I thought might be useful that is today's Fem Gold.